Hello and happy holidays to whichever Aries I'm reading for during this general reading, to my subscribers, and to those of you who are new to my channel. I'm Josie K, and this is Josie K Tarot. I'm going to be doing the year of 2020 reading using the daily guidance from your angels deck by Doreen Virtue. I'm going to lay one card per month from January to December of 2020 for whichever Aries I'm reading for during this general read. Oh, great. So with the fresh air energies, we have an Aries who in January is being guided to really get out and spend time with family and friends and nature to think about the positive after maybe a time of confusion regarding your stability and security. For some Aries, I think there was uh, a fear when it came to um, a partnership or uh, financial circumstances. But now in January, all you need to do, Aries, is spend time with family. Celebrate the ones you have in your life at this time. Now, in February 2020, we have the heart chakra. So really opening your heart and speaking about how much you love others. Giving thanks as well to spirit for the stability and security you have in your current circumstances in February. Now, in March of 2020, there will come signs and synchronicities to whichever Aries has been feeling stuck or trapped in some way. Spirit has been trying to guide you back into connection with family and friends. And in April, um, there's healing in the area of family or friends. Now, in May of 2020, we have the ocean. So this is, again, about healing, allowing the power and beauty to wash away all cares and concerns, giving thanks again to family and friends and the blessing in your life as you heal yourself from confusion or worry regarding your stability in some way. By June of 2020, we have an Aries who is mastering the path of giving and receiving, who is recognizing that what they put their passionate energy and drive into in their own current chapter in the year of 2020 is freeing their mind and it's freeing this Aries from worry. In July 2020, Spirit is saying continue to ask for help in a situation where you're maybe having a hard time opening your heart to another or others. By August 2020, this particular Aries is feeling cleansed of what was, whereby in the past they wanted to communicate with a person, circumstance, situation that was unhealthy. So it's going to take this Aries into August 2020 to kind of cleanse and detoxify, but you have the energies up until then to share and give and receive love with those whom by which are currently in your journey with you in the year of 2020. It's definitely a time of, and hopefully a lot of people have, and I know it is difficult at times to release what no longer serves you, a person, place, circumstance, situation, and to come into the year of 2020, which is a number four year in numerology, into stability and security, most importantly, emotionally and spiritually. So in October of 2020, Spirit is saying, listen, quiet your mind, connect again uh, with your truth. Okay. And I somehow missed this. So in September of 2020, Spirit saying continue to recognize the signs from Spirit and give thanks to the wonderful blessings in the area of home or family. 
be honest with yourself and know that uh, as you quiet yourself by working on a hobby, gift, talent, or skill, or time alone this year, that you will start to really feel good about how the family is growing in 2020. Now, by November of 2020, this Aries is receiving some form of trustworthy guidance, some form of messages whereby you're understanding the answers to your prayers. You put some effort in, and that process of creating something that you enjoy in your life day to day has helped for you to heal. Has helped for you not only to give and care for others, but to receive care and kindness and support in return. It's about receiving. It's about asking spirit, especially in July of 2020, to cleanse you from anything unhealthy so that you can breathe the fresh air and be honest with myself that I am where I meant to be and that that's perfect. That you don't need anything anywhere else. Because by December of 2020, we have the relationship energy after giving and receiving. You start to feel more passionate and through signs and synchronicities in the last couple few months of 2020, this Aries is recognizing uh, what it is that they are passionate about when it comes to family and friends and their own hobbies, gifts, talents, or skills. That divine timing led them to the journey they're in. And it's beautiful. So the card on the bottom of the deck says, see only love this year in 2020. Last year, in 2019, a number three year in numerology was about going forward fearlessly as you let go of an attachment. So this Aries is still cleansing and detoxifying all the way up into about August 2020. If you'll follow Spirit's advice, just open your heart chakra, spend time with children and family. Notice the signs and synchronicities that family and the people you're connected with now were sent into your life to help you to heal Aries. So don't just give, receive, and ask Spirit to help you to cleanse and detoxify your heart to old, unhealthy experiences, circumstances, and situations. And be honest with yourself as you sit quietly into um, October. I think in October, you're going to be kind of in a beautiful state with a quiet mind and body. Recognizing that everything was taken care of for you, and that's why you ended up with this beautiful family and friends. So in November, it's a really good time to, since you'll be very grounded after listening in October, to receive communication about a wonderful idea. And for some of you, this idea is going to bring you into relation with new people. The next chapter of your life. No longer will you feel stuck or trapped in your thoughts, but you're going to recognize that divine timing has been at work throughout this whole year and has guided you to come into connection or relationship with those uh, who will help you or show you a, a recognition and attention for all that you have created or these ideas that you are sharing. You come into relationship when it comes to what it is you're passionate about. So if you're single, come in connection closer with your family this year and heal. Be honest with yourself about something that you need to be cleansed and release from because a new relationship could evolve around the end of 2020 for this Aries. So for clarification, I'm going to bring in the Game of Thrones deck. 
Please clarify for whichever Aries energy this is during this general reading, the messages we have previously discussed. Yeah. So there may be communication with a child, someone who is younger, who may have with the Spears energies, which is fire, wands. Communication regarding a younger fire sign, Sagittarius or Leo, or communicating something that you are passionate about. Being guided again to come back together with family. Maybe you're receiving still some passionate, passionate communication, Aries, in the beginning of 2020. All right, trying to get my cards in line here. In February 2020, pay attention to the signs. For someone's going to come towards you quickly and or unexpectedly. For some of you, um, you're being guided to take some time until you find clarity about what is on offer here with the eight of spears or wands. There may be some confusion. Is this a stable and secure offer as I've been communicating out with others about what really fills my heart? A hobby, gift, talent, skill, a career, your purpose. Look at in March, we have family. So Spirit's giving you the Emperor energy, Aries, to manifest successes in the area of family. How you can bring family together is what you're being guided to pay attention to. In the first three months. Okay, so um, all right. In April of twenty twenty, we have trust in the signs. Okay. And then we have moon energy, which could represent someone who has Pisces in their chart. I know this came up in last year's yearly read. Pay attention to the signs and synchronicities they're saying as you are creating something new. Be clear with others about What you are manifesting. Somebody here is wanting to create a family with someone from March going into April who may have Pisces in their chart. And Spirit saying, pay attention to the signs. Because by May of 2020, there's healing energy with the ocean card and the five of cups. But this is about crying over spilt milk. I want to give birth to something that is confusing me, that is keeping me stuck or trapped in my thoughts. Therefore, I'm not appreciating the blessings I already have in my life. And that's why Spirit's saying, happiness will always come from the blessings you already have, which is in the area of family and friends that have been blessed to be in your life with you, Aries. Now, by June of 2020, we do have someone coming in that didn't in 2019 and maybe in previous years. So you're being guided, Aries, in the first half of the year to really get balanced in the area of giving and receiving. Give kindness and patience to others and allow yourself to receive patience and kindness. Somebody here may be a little frustrated that someone's either not coming towards them in June or that they're just taking forever or all of a sudden they show up after waiting for too long. So in July, Spirit saying, ask about this magician. I do feel like somebody's coming in with the magician energies able to manipulate this Aries. So again, Spirit saying, get back in connection with family and friends, those who truly love you. For we have the ability to detox by August 2020 as someone with the Knight of Spears energies comes back towards this Aries passionately unexpectedly right when this Aries starts to heal and open their heart more uh, somebody comes in quickly and unexpectedly 
who is going to be manipulative and dishonest, or there's a fear that of that. So in September of 2020, as someone travels towards you, as you travel towards maybe some form of success in your life, look into your heart and you'll know the truth of the situation. It's safe to admit the truth to yourself, for we will support and guide you through any necessary changes. Focus on your true desires and they'll come towards you. So some of you, what you uh, are manifesting in the area of family and friends in March, uh, you may start to recognize success coming back towards you by September of 2020. In October, we have listen. When you have the five of spears energies, there's frustration, confusion, So someone may travel towards this Aries in September and spirit saying, be honest with yourself and listen if you fall into the energies of frustration, confusion. For trustworthy guidance will come to you in November regarding the King of Spears energy, someone who is older, someone who uh, is in a leadership position, someone who can guide you in a very passionate, focused, determined way, someone who may have fire in their chart, Sag, Aries, or Leo. From this person will come some form of trustworthy guidance. Because you have healed this year, because you have surpassed a temptation and come out of confusion, because you were honest with yourself as you gave birth to what is successful to you in your personal goals and intentions. And by December of 2020, we have an Aries who put a lot of effort into, again, with the wands, a hobby, gift, talent, skill, or passionate situation. And in turn, uh, the relationship energies show up. So somebody here is still waiting to free themselves from something that I feel was had ended. But some form of passionate communication comes towards this Aries in January and February of 2020. Focus on family. And pay attention to the signs when you are confused about another. For some in April, the confusion may be about a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. For the inability to give thanks to the blessings you already have in your life. It's a time to heal all the way into August. Somebody's being drawn back to this Aries this year. You guys may create this King of Spears energies where you are advanced in the area of your talent, your skill, your business. And now because you are healing, and you've continued to put energy into a hobby, gift, talent, skills, small business, whatever your efforts have been throughout the year, you could come into perfect commitment or partnership with someone whose advice you can trust. Yeah, I think by the last couple months of 2020, November, December, there's going to be some form of passionate communication coming into relationship or partnership with someone who is trustworthy and recognizing that divine timing has been work at work in your life throughout the whole year. So again, on the bottom of the deck, we have see only love, look past the seeming errors and mistakes and misunderstandings and see only love, the love within each person, including yourself, your resolute focus upon the love that underlies every situation, brings about healing in undreamed of ways. So mid-year, a temptation is going to come back around for some that's going to cause confusion. It could happen in 
like communication in January, February, and then actual face-to-face -face connection with the chariot energies in September. For others, there could also be manipulation in July and August. And Spirit is saying, cleanse and detoxify from anyone or anything that causes stress. So it's a year to give and receive and to heal and to come closer to family and to recognize what love truly is. That really fills you up with happiness and contentment. Passionate energy may come towards you July through September, and Spirit's advice is to be honest with yourself. For if you take October to sit and get clear as you pay attention to the signs and find your truth, uh, you will be able to come out of crying over spilt milk and come into trustworthy guidance with someone who's in a leadership position, someone who may have fire in their chart, Sagittarius or Leo, someone who can guide you into commitment or partnership, whereby your ship is coming in. And an offer that you've been waiting in the area of money shows up. For others, it is someone who has the night of Coins energy, someone who has earth in their chart, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Now, the knight can also represent someone who's in their 20s. Maybe even 18 to 29. And spirit is helping you to give and receive love in connection with this person. Maybe there's fear that a family member is not going to be honest and truthful but I think as you see only love and and focus on what fulfills you what you're passionate about this year what you are going to be guided towards in relation to another who is trustworthy that is going to come for this Aries as soon as they let go of someone who isn't Okay, so these things could transpire even more quickly if you focus on yourself, your family, your goals and intentions, and heal from a situation that just did not serve you. So I'm going to close by pulling a card from the Journey of Love deck by Alana Fairchild. Closing message for this year for whichever Aries energy we're reading for. So again, last year was about going forward fearlessly, letting go of an attachment. It is still visible here. But if this Aries can recognize that it's almost like you spend more time away from someone than you do in connection with them. And when you do come into connection with them, there's manipulation, there's lies, there's deceit, there is a quick connection. And if you're honest with yourself and just love them for who they are, broken or unbroken, there will come a beautiful new relationship, connection, and trustworthy um, person. So to close, you have number 54. This is about the earth angel. We all have good within. We sometimes just get off track and we follow our human nature into an incorrect path. So this year is all about divine guidance, love, and protection. And the advice with this card is to pray more and to worry less. For if you know what it is you are manifesting and what brings you joy day to day, the more you're going to come into this awakening that you don't need something that tarnishes this beautiful new chapter of your life in 2020. Thank you so much for stopping by. Should these messages resonate and or you'd like a, your own yearly reading, feel free to check my price list in the box below. Um, I also want to say thank you to those of you who've been gifting these readings to other people. That's been really cool. Uh, thank you so much to those of you who have liked, shared, and subscribed, and especially to those of you who have donated. Keep this channel up and running. You are awesome. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Happy holidays.
Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. Take care and God bless.